In this video, you're going to learn how to use addition strips and how to use the techniques you've learned so far to solve them. There are three types of addition strip you're going to see, and the first one is the most basic. So this is the first type. Um, I'm going to call this type A. Okay. And type A is where you're told the first two numbers. If you're told the first two numbers, addition strips are very easy. When you work them out, all you have to do is add up two numbers to get the next number. So four add nine makes 13. Take these two numbers, add them together to make the next number. Nine plus 13 is 22. And finally, 13 plus 22 is 35. And that's our addition strip finished. That's if we know the first two numbers. But we don't always know the first two numbers, so we have type B. Type B is where we're given the first number and the third number, but there's a gap between the numbers we're given. This is, in type B, we only have one gap between the two numbers that we're given, one space. But we don't know what this space is. Now, some of you might be able to work it out very quickly to find out what it is. Um, but if we can't see what it is straight away, we'll say, well, I don't know what that number is, so I'll put a question mark there, or like the word missing or something like that. Okay, but we, what we do know is that these two numbers add together to make this number. So seven plus the number we don't know must make 12. Well, the number we don't know add seven is 12. So therefore the number we don't know must be seven less than 12, which is five. So our missing number is five. We can now go back and check if that's correct. Let's put five in here, and I'm going to use a different colour for my check. So I'm going to put five in here. Seven plus five is indeed 12, so that works out. And we can now finish off the addition strip. Five plus 12 makes 17, and 12 plus 17 makes 29. And we've finished our addition strip. So that's what happens when we have an addition strip with one space miss between the two numbers we know with one empty space. The third type, type C, is when we have more than one space. Um, in this one here, we have two spaces, and in the bottom one, we have three spaces. I'm going to go through the technique for the third one in the line here, this one with three space, space, five space. But the same technique, just applied slightly differently, will work for bottom one as well. So again, we don't know these missing numbers and we need to work them out. Well, we know from type A that if we have the first two numbers, addition strips are quite straightforward. So let's pretend we have got this number. Unfortunately, we don't know what it is. So we'll put a question mark there. What we know is that if we add these two numbers, we get this number. So this number is three plus question mark. And we know that if we add these two numbers, we'll get this number. Well, I've already got a five in there, and that would be made by adding this question mark and the three plus question mark. So I can now write down an equation. Question mark plus three plus question mark must equal five. Because if I add the question mark there and the three plus the question mark there, I must get five. So I've got a question mark, a three, and a question mark added together to make five. And we can simplify this. This is two lots of my question mark, two lots of the number I don't know, plus three makes five. And now we have an equation that we can solve using function machines. We don't know what the number is, but we do know that if we multiply it by two, and then add three, we will get five. And again, some of you might be able to see what this is already. Let's reverse the function machine. We start with five and we go backwards. Instead of adding three, we take away three. Instead of multiplying by two, we divide by two, and we will get our answer. Well, let's have a look at what that gives us. Five take away three, is 2, and 2 
divided by 2 is 1. So that means our missing number is 1. Let's put that in and check. This is going to take a little bit longer to check. Again, notice in the check I'm using another colour. That's going to be 1, that's what we think. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. Because this works, that confirms that our missing number was correct. Because 1 plus 4 makes 5. This number matches, so we know we're correct. And now we can just finish off the function soon by adding those two numbers. So, a little recap. Type A, when you have the first two numbers, you can just use addition to complete the strip. Type B, when you have one space between the numbers you don't, the, the, the two numbers that you're given, you have one empty space, then you can use this method to get the answer. Type C, when you have more than one space, we've got three space space five or seven, three spaces and then a 44, you need to do this three stage method. Stage one, we have here, is forming the equation. So that's stage one. Notice that in stage one, we also had to use the blue writing in the addition strip. Stage two is solving the equation to get our answer. And stage three is checking our equation. And that's important as well, because you won't need to be told the answers to these. You won't need to be given them. You can check. If they work, then you must have got the right answer. So that's how to solve addition strips. Don't forget, when you've got more than one space, three stage answers. Build an equation, solve an equation, check your answers correct.